welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. This is part three on the Enrico TM7, which is the mobile Android device which I've got here. I've been reviewing this um, recently. Uh, if you've not seen the other parts, part one and two are in the description below. Um, really, really impressed with this unit. Um, it's um, it's a great little piece of kit. Um, and I wanted to talk today about um, programming the buttons. I said in part one that the SOS button and the programming buttons um, don't do anything until they're programmed. And I've downloaded a little app called Button Mapper, uh, which has enabled me to map those buttons so they actually have function. Um, and it's dead easy to do. So I'm gonna bring the camera in and show you how to do that now. Okay, so in Play Store, Okay, so in Play Store, you want to search for an app called Button Mapper and install it, which is what I've done there. And you just click on it to open it, and it's got your buttons in there that you can program. So these are set for a smartphone, so your home button, your back button, your menu button, and volume buttons. What you need to do is click on Add Buttons, and you'll see I've already added mine in, but I'll show you an example now. So this will be blank when you come to it. You click on the plus sign and you press the button you want to add. So the last one I need to add is the SOS button here. So I press that and it comes up with the uh, the button there and you just click on add. So what that's done now at the bottom of the list, it's added F5135, which is that SOS button. So if I click on that, you can customize it then. So you just click the button there to customize it and then you can do a single tap, a double tap or a long press. I just want to do a single tap for this. So single tap, you can go down to the setting you want, so it'll do all sorts of things, kill foreground out, turn the screen on and off, toggle the flashlight, which this doesn't actually have, um, screenshot, do not disturb, all sorts of things here, volume up and down, um, you can see on the list there, the, the list is endless. So what I want this to do is toggle the power settings, because when I turn this radio off, you have to press and hold this tiny button here, um, and I just want to press that one once, so power dialog, and I just click on back. And that's the button mapped. So do it for every button you want to map, including this control here. And you can just exit out of the app and um, you're done. It's as simple as that. So I'll show you what I've set these buttons to do. The only one I had an issue with, with was the rotating knob here. So this I've set to turn the brightness of the screen up and down, but it still selects stuff on the screen, as you can see there. But if I turn that down like so, it turns the brightness of the screen down. If I turn it up, it turns the brightness of the screen up, so it does work. The P3 button and P4 button were unprogrammed. P3 takes me to the home menu, and P4 turns my screen off. So now those buttons are actually in use. And finally, the SOS button, if I press that once, brings up my power dialog so I can just power off the device. Simple as that. So. That's how you program the uh, buttons um, and remap them within the device. You can also remap these. Um, I haven't remapped these. I just did, did the ones that were inactive, the P3, the P4, and the SOS. So I hope that helped, guys. Any questions, drop me in the, a comment in the box below. Um, if you want me to explain anything clearer to you, then I uh, absolutely will do that. Yeah, no problem at all, Matt. Well, the camera's rolling now. Uh, I've just yeah, I've just done a, a, well, a few parts on the video. Um, so, yeah. Uh, it's it's brilliant. I'm really impressed with it. Happy with the uh, the settings, software, the uh, the feel of it, the look of it. It's brilliant. The sound quality is good as well. So yeah, uh, thanks for joining me in this video, Matt. Um, I've done a bit of a nod to the Outpost Radio Network in one of these parts anyway. Um, I've showed uh, how to add it in Zello and stuff. So that's uh, that's pretty good. So yeah, any questions you've got, Matt, uh, fire away, and I'll do my best to answer them. Yeah, I'll receive Lewis. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, and uh, thanks for the nod to the Outpost uh, radio network there. That's, uh, that's brilliant stuff. Uh, <clears throat> like you say, uh, this, this is kind of the way that uh, amateur radio and CB is moving in this kind of direction a little bit. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, fantastic stuff. Uh, the more the merrier on the channel, that's what I say. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I, I'm holding back on, uh, on ordering one for, for the moment because I was a bit unsure of, um, of uh, the power supply and how the power supply, how, how it actually powers up because um, I'm going to leave mine, obviously, home base. I'm not going to leave it in the... Uh, I'm not going to leave it in the car, so um, yeah, you know, I just wondered uh, what, what sort of power supply they give you with it or if, if any at all uh, back to...
Yeah, okay, Matt. Um, yeah, I've covered that in one of the videos, but yeah, this this will be a good little video, like a sort of Q&A on it. Um, yeah, it comes with a 12 volt little plug, um, which leads to two tinned wires. So you can either plug it into radio power supply, plug it into a cigarette lighter, or you can use a 24 volt, 12 volt adapter uh, for mains power. So there's no battery, um, which I was quite surprised at. I thought there would be a battery, because um, I was expecting it to sort of be a rehoused F22 um, Android device. But no, that's what it comes with. So you'll see it in the video anyway, uh, Matt. But it, yeah, it comes with like a pigtail, so you can uh, you put it onto anything you want, which I, th I thought was actually quite handy. Really, it saves charging the battery, doesn't it? And you know, if you if you have it in a, in a shack at home, you can just plug it into a power supply. At the moment, I've just got it into a CB uh, three to five amp power uh, CB three to five amp power supply, and it's doing the job, no problem. Obviously, because it's such low current. So yeah, hope that answers your question, Matt. But anything else, just fire away. Yeah, all received, mate. Yeah, I'll have a look when the uh, when the video comes out. Look, look forward to that one. <coughs> there seems to be uh, there seems to be a few posts on Facebook cropping up um, about these in Ricos, but um, and no one with any kind of definitive answers. If you see what I mean. Um, yeah, they post up little tidbits of information, but no one has yet done a an in depth video, as far as I know. Um, yeah, so. Uh, yeah, fantastic stuff. Um, yeah, my, my little brain's already ticking away, and I'm already kind of thinking how you could, um, how there could be a way to uh, connect a signal link um, to one of these units, and then um, and then bridge it with RF as well, um, so you can get kind of the best of both worlds and use it as a as a gateway. Um, so yeah, um, <laughs> not sure what sort of inputs and outputs it's got on it um, as yet. As you say, but um, yeah, I'm just trying to think off the top of my head if there is a way where perhaps maybe a uh, some sort of interface can be linked. And uh, yeah, as I say, as I said before, you can get RF, uh, use it as an RF gateway as well. You know, but, so you never know, mate. It's all uh, all experimentation, as they say. Back to you. Yeah, no problem, Matt. Well, it has got a um, audio output on the side, and it's also got a micro USB. Um, now, I'm not sure whether it's just an input or just an output or both, um, but yeah, I would, I would suspect it would be uh, quite easy to sort of um, hack it and get it linked up to an RF uh, system and use it as a gateway with a signal link. That was something I was discussing with um, Dave on the Triffid group the other night. It would be definitely something to look at, it uh, be really handy. Um, you know, the audio quality on, on them is, is far better than the handheld devices, you know, the F22s, the... Um, Radio tone RT threes and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, I, I definitely think you'd be able to sort of hack it uh, or plug a plug a signal link into it. Be definitely uh, something to have a look into, Matt. Um, quite a good idea to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, all received. Yeah, you're um, you're coming through lovely and crisp at this end anyway. Yeah, can't fault it at all. Um, yeah, what more can I say? Um, yeah, look forward to the video, and um, I'm just on a lunch break from work, funnily enough. <laughs> so um, yeah, I've got to go back and uh, go back and do some work. Uh, but uh, yeah, sounding absolutely fantastic at this end. And uh, as I say, I'll uh, I'll wait for the video to come out, and then I'll uh, I'll most probably put my order in. I was already sort of um, uh, teetering on the brink of putting an order in, but um, yeah, as you say, I just wanted a couple of things clarifying and. Uh, you know, so some of the information out there is a little bit unclear um, on these units, so it's, uh, it's, it's good that you're, uh, you're doing a nice video on it and uh, everyone can find out all about it then. Um, so, yeah, no worries at all, mate. Well, I'll, I'll save 70 freeze for now, and uh, all the best, and, uh, yeah, I'll watch and wait for the, for the upload. Yeah, no problems, Matt. Yeah, well, I've done a really detailed series of videos. They're going to be coming out over the next uh, couple of weeks. The first one will be today, which is sort of the overview. Um, and then I'm just going to go into sort of more detail. But yeah, you should you should get everything you need to know from the first video. Uh, fingers crossed. But I've, I've sort of covered all bases with it because I'm with you. The information is really sketchy. I sort of bought it blindly um, just to find out what it was all about. So yeah, happy with it. You, you wouldn't regret buying one anyway, Matt, but you'll see everything in the video. Uh, so yeah, cheers for the shout, I'll let you go, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll catch you further down, 7-3. Yeah, 73 Lewis, all the best from Matt, Oscar Romeo November, 
two two three four Western King. Uh, all the best. Catch you later. Catch you soon. Yep, seven two for now. Cheers, Matt. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. Um, it's definitely sort of unlocked a little bit of the capability of this uh, this device and made it a little bit easier to use uh, by being able to map those controls. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy with how that works. Um, also a nice uh, little bit of a Q&A there from Matt from the Outpost Radio Network. There's a link to the Outpost Radio Network Facebook page and Zello group uh, in the description. So go and check that out. There's a really good bunch of guys on there um, willing to help with anything, always willing to have a good chat. Um, and they're also really enjoying the VO, VOIP and um, sort of Zello, um, TeamSpeak and FRN side of things uh, when it comes to radio communications. So um, thanks for watching this one guys. I think this will probably be the last part in the series unless any of you have any questions which warrant another video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, like I said in the other parts, just put them in the comments below. Um, what's your thoughts on this device? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it a load of crap? Does it belong in the bin? Um, would you use Zello? Is it killing the radio hobby? Let me know. Drop your comments in the box below. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you've not already subscri subscribed, hit the subscribe button. We're on well over 2,500 now, which is brilliant. So thanks very much for that. Um, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. And um, don't forget to leave me a comment in the box below. Um, plenty more coming to the channel, guys. Um, just So just stay tuned. I've got a few more radios and devices and bits and pieces coming on the way. So um, you can ex expect uh, plenty more coming from uh, Ringway Manchester um, over the coming weeks and months. So thanks very much for watching. Always appreciate it. Um, let's hear your feedback. Let's get a discussion going on these uh, Android devices and um, we'll catch you further down the log. Seven three for now. Thanks for watching. Quick one guys, if you've not already checked out Ringway Manchester 2, that's my second channel. The link is in the description below and also on the screen here. Um, head over there, um, hit subscribe. Run over 100 subscribers over there now, which is, uh, which is brilliant. So um, head over there, see what you think. It's more of a sort of B-roll channel. Very similar to this one, so if you like what you see on here, you're going to like what you see on there. Um, I still put 99% of my content on this channel anyway. Um, that one's just a sideline for stuff that doesn't really fit with this channel. So yeah, head over there, click subscribe, um, and uh, stay tuned for more on there as well. Thanks very much.